Hey everyone, welcome! I'm going to be showing you how you can change this thing here into a nice house that has loads of room and yeah, let's just get started. So first of all, I'm going to do this in creative, but you could easily do the same thing in survival. Okay, let's get started. And just light up the place first so no mobs spawn. Make sure that there's no holes or anything in the back. If there are, you will need to fix it. Next, we need to go downstairs, and I'm also going to light it up here. And you need to destroy the wall. So I'm on creative, so this is going to be easy. But you need to avoid all this stuff, loot the chest, and then you need to start destroying. And usually here somewhere is a chest. Yep, there's a chest there. And it usually has iron, which you will need later to make shears. Okay, so once you've done it, the room should look like something like this. You will want to remove the trip wires and the stuff though. And we're going to start work with this. So it is really important you actually have those shears because we're going to be using vines as a system of traveling up and down. But before we do that, you have to eliminate the roof as much as you can. And just keep going until you see daylight. If you see daylight, then replace the block and continue going elsewhere. Okay, as you can see, I have made a lot of room now and we are going to get started with how we're going to travel up and down. Okay, so you will have need to make shears and collect loads of vines, but before we do that, make sure you destroy the steps, then destroy this over here and place this like so and fill in the rest. Okay, and now what you need to do is you need to actually go down and place a column like that up and then place vines on top and the cool thing about vines is you can actually travel up them when they have nothing behind them I think this is a new feature but as you can see it works and now once you have done that you are going we are also going to decide how you're going to go down so I'm still using this vine system and I'm going to remove the steps and as you'll notice in a second this will make a lot more room downstairs as well and just do this and place more vines up along and destroy the blocks again. As you can see, this room has a lot more space now. And then you need to remove, replace this like that and do this. Okay, so as you saw, there was actually like holes in the back of this. You may need to fill some of it in. And if you want to go up, you just need to go like this up. And now I'm going to show you how you can make a garden on top of your pyramid. So you're going to remove all of this here and you can replace it with glass or something. And then you're going to make, okay, wrong one. It was here. Okay, you're going you're gonna to make it like that. And you're going to go up and place more vines. Basically... What it will do is you have an entrance up into your garden. So you could have a few beds like this. Oh, and you could have a chest and storage and stuff. Grab some glass. Okay, once you are done, place the torches in the corners they were before. And we are going to continue with the top. Okay, so now up here we are going to make this place look super cool. Okay, so what you will need for this is water. Sorry, water. Seeds of your the kinds and the cocoa beans. You'll need the jungle logs, dirt, stone brick walls. These are optional. And lanterns. So if you have stone brick walls, put them up on top of these pillars sticking out. And on top of that, place the torches. Okay, once you are done, what we're going to do is we're going to make the layout. So do this. This kind of layout. Repeat this on the other side. Now no, it's only going to be on two sides. On this side there's going to be nothing. Okay, now fill those holes with water. Okay, now take your hoe. You take your hoe and now you can only hoe specific parts. So watch carefully. You hoe the bits next to the water and then you hoe the bits in front of the water. Now if you don't do that but by some accident you can jump up and destroy the bit that's been hoed. Or you can just replace it with dirt. Once that is done, you plant the different crops in the right formation. You put the melon next to the water like this, and then you put the seeds here. Repeat this on both sides. So you can place doors if you want. You don't need to, but it does look cool. So now place your jungle logs and make sure they're facing upwards like that. Okay, once you have done that, we are going to place the cocoa beans. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe for more. Until next time, guys. Bye.